Okay, so here we have a 2011 uh, Subaru Outback, and we see a broken fog light right there. Um, the other one is okay, but it, you can see it's like pretty old, chipped, foggy. So I'm gonna replace it as well. Um, I have new fog lights here. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for them. I'm gonna have to look it up. I'll put the price up somewhere on the side. Um, but this is the new stuff. It comes complete with a light bulb and it looks much cleaner, much nicer. And it's still glass, it's not plastic. It's glass, just like this. This is also glass, but it somehow got broken. Does it still work? I don't know, let's see. Okay, so it still lights up. The bulb itself is still working, but the glass is broken, which means eventually the bulb will burn out because it's exposed to the elements. Um, so let's replace that real quick. So I don't know what the correct procedure would be, and obviously the procedure would be the same for this side and the other side as well. So I just repeat the same on the other side, but um, I think I just I can just rip this off of here. think it's anything it's a little hard to pull on but there we go just comes off like that just have to apply a little force but it literally just pulls off now I look in here I can maybe get a better look to see how I can pull this off now we see right there there's some kind of screw on the other side that I need to get to um, and that's about everything I can see right now. I don't see any other way in which it's mounted in there besides that. I think once I get that unbolted, it should come out. And that means that I have to get behind the bumper here. And uh, there's a splash guard underneath it that I need to remove. So we're gonna have to take uh, this thing out, and then there's another one here, and here, and here, right there. So that needs a Phillips head. The rest will need a flat head to just pop this out, and uh, let's do that. Okay, so we got access to the back here. Let's see if we can see what we got going on here. So there is the whole assembly. And that looks like a 10 millimeter right there. So we will take that out and I think everything will come out after that. And then we can just unhook the light bulb from this clip right here. I can actually do that now if I wanted to. So I got that clip right there. We're just gonna unpress this down and pull down. There we go, it's free now. And uh, now we just need a 10 millimeter. Right on, there's the bulb. We got under it, it's disconnected. We got our 10 millimeter on a ratchet here. So I'm just gonna reach around and undo that from here, back here somewhere. Oh. Got her. There she is. Cool. So that's out of there. This is, uh, this is what was holding it in. Pretty cool. So now we uh, reverse all our steps. Put in the new one. Is this the right way? I think so. 
Yeah, looks right. Does it indicate where it needs to go on this? Does it indicate what side it is? Let's see. And it looks exactly the same if we look at the back. Careful with the glass there. But you can see everything is in the same place on both of them. Everything looks the same pretty much. So I think we're good. Just gonna set this in there, tighten it down. Same steps in reverse, people. Now real quick, what I wanted to show here with the new bowl before I tighten it down, I put these, these things, hooks or whatever you wanna call them, through these little slots here. I think that's how you're supposed to put them in. I don't think that's what was happening with these, but I think that's what's supposed to happen. So, do that. Okay, so I ran into a bit of a problem. One is there's a ton of mosquitoes that are still alive for some reason, um, even though we're supposed to be in winter. And they're not even supposed to be out at this time of day. Bastards. Anyway. Um, problem with the new one is that this bolt doesn't want to go through the hole here. It's supposed to go all the way through. It's not going through. So I'm gonna have to drill it out a little bit because on the original one, it goes in no problem. I got these off of Amazon, these replacements. Um, they're specific to this vehicle and obviously they look the same, but you know, when you get a cheaper product, this is some of the stuff that you might have to deal with is the manufacturing might be a little wonky. That is the case with this. The holes for the bolt here are a little too small. So I'm gonna drill this one out. I only need to drill this one out because that's the only one that this bolt needs to go through. So we're gonna drill this out a little bit on both of these holes. So I'm gonna look at which one I need to drill out on this as well. I'll do the same on the other side. And then um, once I drill it out and get this guy through, we'll be able to put it in. Okay, I'm just gonna use my foot here to hold it down steady. Now you can see the drill just goes through. But this is like the biggest drill bit I have on hand. So I'm just gonna sort of ream it around to make the hole bigger. And hopefully that is good enough. Scratched it a little bit there. That's okay. Maybe try to be a little bit more careful than I'm being here. Looks like the hole is bigger. Let's see if it fits. Where's the, there it is. Okay, so let's see, that's good enough. That'll hold it in place. Do the same for the other side. Okay, nice, so it's in there, it's solid. I tightened down the bolt in there already with this mighty guy. Everything's in place as it should be, so now we do the easy part, which is, get in here, there's a plug. We find a plug. Uh -huh. There we go. So it's plugged in. Nice and good. Now we can close the splash guard. Let's see if we can get that all set up nice and good again. So this guy goes here. Uh -huh. Close that. Fairly straightforward. This guy can go here. Uh, close that. This guy can go over here. Get it in there. Close it up. And then get the last guy over here. I can get you lined up. Nice. All good there. Frick. Let's get the cover back on. That should be fairly easy. Get it lined up. Stick that little guy in there. Just like that. Get it all lined up nice and good. Give it a couple good taps. There you go. New fog light installed. Let's see if it turns on. There we go. Fog lights working. I hadn't connected it quite right, uh, but I got it. It's on, it's good. Sometimes it'll happen. So before you put the splash guard back, don't be like me, 
Don't assume that the light bulb will work. This one does work, we proved that. Sometimes the light bulbs that these come with might not work. It's happened to me before where I bought uh, fog lights and uh, they just, uh, one of the bulbs just was burnt out um, from factory, it just wasn't working. So make sure it's working and then put everything back together. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's good. Repeat the same on the other side and you're good to go.